Hey folks, we've had a lot of inquiry about coatings. Uh, we don't do any coatings here, but um, a lot of folks have been mentioning this uh, RV roof armor to us, so we figured we'd look it up and see what they're all about. But uh, there's a, a video on here we're going to show you, and we're going to show you why we do the things we do. But you can see there, that's their website right there. So we're going to go over here to um, videos. So this is a video they put on what they're going to do with air conditioners. And this is uh, Lee right here. And he's going to explain what he does. Hey folks, Lee Daxton, president of RV Armor, is here to answer commonly asked questions regarding the RV Armor roofing system and to provide additional roofing tips. Lee, what's this one about? This one is in regards to air conditioning units. What do we do if the, if the with our AC units here up on the roof? RV Armor takes the approach, so what we want to do is with the RV Armor roof is we want to actually go all the way up underneath here to the actual gasket or the seal that's on the bottom side of this AC unit. That has a couple of key advantages. One is that we don't have to remove this if your AC gaskets are still in good shape. If your AC gasket isn't bad and we test it and we see that it's more than half shrunk down to its size, then we're going to recommend that we remove this AC unit and the gasket. You know, one of the key differences between commercial roofing and roofing on top of an RV is that this AC unit wouldn't be sitting down on a flat unit. We would actually have curbs built up and the AC units would be sitting up on the curves, and that gives us an opportunity to flash and counter flash it. But in the RV environment, it's been engineered a little bit differently. So the gaskets that are sitting on the bottom side of this AC unit are compressed down by four bolts on the bottom side of your, your ceiling in there, and it's going up through the unit, and it's compressing it down, and that's what's stopping the water from coming into your unit. Hopefully, that'll give you a better idea in case you ever do have any water issues in your coach, uh, and it happens to be somewhere around the unit, you may end up having to just go ahead and tighten those bolts down a little bit and see if you can't compress that down a little bit. And this is Lee Thaxon again, and that's another tip. Hope you enjoy it. So if you play that back, you can hear what he said about putting curbs up on there so you can flash and counter flash. So that's what we've done. We've made these curbs. This is a, a curb we made up right here. And this is the curb coming up. This would be your flash. So as you're traveling on the interstate and you come into some rain, heavy, inclement weather, all that rain is going to want to drive up into the curb. And there's your flashing gasket right there, with the gasket on the air conditioner, rather, is right there. But that would be sitting on top of this. So we made this counter flash. That's what Lee was talking about, how to flash and counter flash. This counter flash basically stops the water from trying to come up into and breach into that gasket. The water will hit here and it rolls around the other side. So once we get this done, this all is all heat welded right back in here. And this again, this is just an example of one that we have here. So here's your gasket right here for your air conditioner. That would sit on like this. All right. So when the gaskets get old, these are your typical gaskets right here. You can see how this one is kind of getting old. You can see it's all fractured in there, starting to deteriorate. And these are just glued together. You can see some evidence right here of where it would probably be, have leaked right there. And even the new ones, though, that's the thing with these new ones. They're just glued together themselves, the same thing. All of them are. Here's another corner, another corner. They're all glued together. So trying to rely on a three-quarter inch piece of foam to keep you weather tight, uh, I, I wouldn't like it. And again, that's not the way you do it on a commercial roof. So what we've done over here at RV Roof Install is we've designed a mini commercial roof. That's what we're doing is a mini commercial roof on here. So you have curbs for your vents right there. Now that doesn't have that little counter piece flash because any water that gets up in there will just simply roll out. The air conditioner is where we have the concern with. 
So even though it's up on a curb, we also fabricate these little stands in the back. We do all this at the shop. And those little stands just give it balance. That's all it does. And you have the same thing for your refrigerator. So here are the curbs that Lee was talking about. On a typical commercial roof, this is what you're going to see. You can see all the arrows pointing to curbs. There's a curb right here. This going around is a curb. These are all curbs. So that's what he was talking about. So once we get the curbs built and put on there, they're all heat welded in. So here's your heat weld. And that's not going to leak. You can't break that. It's as well good as welding two pieces of metal together. It's fused together. It's one piece. So again, the water is going to run up here. And if you get into a rainstorm, it's going to hit here up underneath that piece of flash, that counter flash that I was telling you about right there. Same one is up underneath there. Might not be able to see if I get the camera in there. Well, it'll hit that and it'll roll around the back. So this is another piece of counter flash. The reason we did this one is because this is really close. The front of this unit is really close to the front part of the curb. When water comes down from the top, it's going to roll. And when it does, I don't want it to kind of get in this way, roll down, and then come in this way from the gasket. You see? So we've stopped water from coming up the top from this way. And then also I want to make sure it doesn't come in this way or even hit this lip and roll in. Either way. So we made this other counter flash. This goes up underneath the lid. See? That goes all the way up underneath the lid. So the water will roll down, hit here, roll out the back. That solves the problem. So what we've done is recognized, like Lee was saying, there's a different design to these RVs. It's not a good one. And we fixed it. That's the right way to do it. We also make these little boots for your ladders. That's a pourable sealer. It's like a rubber eraser. It will never leak on you. Again, all heat welded in here. Typically they just have a plate like this. Typically they just have that little plate something either like that or a round one but it'll be on the roof and then they put the four or five screws in it and then they slather it with caulking but again we've heat welded all this in there so and then load it with that do the same for the plumbing so one of the other things that concern me as well is if you have to take this off right here say it got broke if you had uh, the spray on system from uh, flex armor if you did you're gonna have to take that vent up you're going to have to cut away some of their coating system. You're going to have to cut that away, put the roof back on, and that's going to have to be patched in. And they have a video on there as well about that. But some of the other things that I was noticed is, see if we can go back a little bit on this video. If you look right here, if you had any issues with, with any antennas, satellite dishes, anything like that that either broke or you need to replace or upgrade, you're going to have to tear it up and then you're going to have to reinstall it and you're going to have to go back to them to patch it back in. So they do have another video. Flash and counter flash it, There's the a counter flash he's talking about. A little bit differently. So the gap... Let's see if we can find that other video here. Here's this one. Let's see if we can find out what this one. See, that's what he said. To keep your warranty intact, you'll have to go back to them to have that done. And they'll have to go in and have a tech go in and put all that together. If you have a, an air conditioning issue and the way they've got it designed, and you pull that gasket up, you're definitely, if they spray up against that gasket, you're going to peel one of their products away. The product is definitely going to come out. You have to tear all that out of there. Then you're going to have to go back to them and have them butter it back in for you. Uh, the same thing with perhaps, you know, a plumbing vent. If you had a tree limb, knock that off there. Or if you had, again, the vent or refrigerator vent, any damage like that that could be simply done at an RV center or even by yourself, in order to maintain your warranty, you're going to have to go back to them to get that all squared away. So that's some of the differences that we have over here at RV Roof Install. This is a commercial grade roof. It's a 45 mil structured is what it is. And what structuring is, you can see those little squares in there, like a little mesh. You can actually see the little fibers up here. That's a structure. 
So essentially that'll give you more strength, what's called tinsel strength when it goes down. That's tinsel strength. Give you a lot more strength on that. Then what we do is we heat weld all this together. So once it's heat welded, if you would actually try to pull it apart, and these marks right here, I don't know if you can see them so well, but that mark right there, and that one, those are pliers. That's how you will get that apart to show you that you'll actually rip. You'll actually rip and tear everything apart, and you can see the mesh in there. That's the reinforcement. So this particular system comes with a 15-year warranty, and that's a real warranty because we're certified through GAF. If you're not certified, there's no warranty that's going to be extended to an RV center, won't be able to extend one, and uh, that's something that you need to be concerned about because you don't want to do a roof twice. So log on to our website, rvroofinstall.com.